Okay, what's up YouTube? I want to show you guys real quick how you can go ahead and update um, your Sony A6000 or any Sony camera. You just need to type in the model. Um, so basically you want to go ahead and navigate to uh, Google and um, here you can see just typed, I just typed in update Sony A6000 firmware. Uh, so you can just go ahead and click on the Sony eSupport and I can uh, throw the link in the description for for this site for the Sony A6000. Um, so what you want to do is go ahead and scroll down and click on drivers and software. And here you also have the option to change the model number. Um, so this kind of lets you know exactly which camera it is. And these are the different models that you can check on your camera. And I'll show you a little later on the video how you can do that. Um, and you want to go ahead and scroll down to select operating system. I am running a Mac, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Mac OS X. And here we're going to go ahead and choose firmware since we're updating the camera's firmware. And we can scroll down and you can see um, the release date, the version, and the file size. And this also gives you a, a little uh, overview and a description of what the uh, update has and so we're gonna go ahead and click download and same thing a little bit about the update so you go ahead to the right click the blue download now button please read this before downloading so it's just a software agreement so after you get finished reading you want to scroll to the bottom and click accept um, accept agreement and the download has started up here on the top. Let's see, got about 40 seconds. And this is the newest update. Um, this was version 3.2 for the Sony A6000. And this is as of uh, today's date is August 23rd, 2016. So this, this uh, update came out in July so it's a little just about a month old so a couple more seconds okay so we can go ahead and click this and this is the firmware Updater, go ahead and double click and click open. Go ahead and put in your admin password. And you'll see this appear for the software. Um, so we're going to first connect the camera and the computer. So, and you want to make sure you go into the uh, your com your camera setup, and make sure that you um, turn the USB connection to mass storage, and um, then just connect the camera to the laptop via USB cable. And I'll show you guys how you can go ahead and turn that mass storage on. All right, what we want to do is go into our menu settings and look for this icon here. And under the fourth menu list, go to USB connection and make sure it's set to mass storage. And to verify the version and the model of your uh, Sony camera, you can go ahead and look at body. So you can see this is the ILCE 6000 for the Sony A6000 and I am running version 1 for the software and lens version 0 0.01. So once you have that set up, go ahead and plug in camera and turn the camera to the body with the USB cable. Click the next button. Um, you want to go ahead and make sure you power on your camera. And it should say USB mode mass storage. And let me 
go ahead and close this out. So we're gonna go ahead and click next. So it's gonna verify the connection. So we're all good with the check. And next we're gonna verify the version. So we'll go ahead and click next. Version is good. Um, now it's going to prepare the camera for update. Verify the version of the, in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. So you can see that it's version 1.0 currently. After this update, the camera will be on version 3.2. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. Uh, follow the procedures to reset the camera. Select OK. And the camera screen, the camera screen will shut off. Click the next button. So we want to go ahead on our Sony device, click, we'll see a prompt that says reset device and click OK. Now once you do that, you want to click next. And it's going to verify the connection with the camera and computer again. And now that we're good, we want to click run. And right now it's running the update. Um, so this is the crucial time um, that it's going to update the camera. You don't absolutely don't want to uh, disconnect your camera from the uh, computer or turn off your camera or anything like that. And down here we have a green status bar showing how long we have left on uh, the update so once this green portion fills up all the way down here to the right um, then the camera will be updated so I'm gonna let it let the uh, update do its thing and I'll just speed through and come back once it's finished all right so we're back and the firmware has been run on the camera Powering, it's powering back on so it says when the update when the update has been completed the camera will automatically restart sorry about the pop-ups when the update has been completed the camera will automatically restart it may take a few minutes to restart the camera make sure the camera is turned on and wait until the LCD screen appears press the finish button on other software when the LCD appears so when the LCD appears, you'll see that USB mode, mass storage USB on the camera screen again. So we'll go ahead and click finish. And close this out. And I think from there we are good and we can go ahead and switch over to the camera. Alright, so the firmware update which is completed and we should be running on version 3.2 so what i'm going to do is go ahead and unplug the usb from the camera and then we got this image database file error recovery or recover retired client 19 or 10 seconds let me go ahead 10 okay complete and that's just the last image and to make sure that you're running on the newest um, software, what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, the menu button. I think I'm covering the sensor. Yeah. So let me focus in. Go ahead. Go to the menu button, uh, the six page version. And there you can see you're running version 3.2. And that's how you go ahead and update um, your Sony A6000 or any uh, Sony camera. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace.